morning, everyone. Uh, I'm Chef Xavier Day from the International Trade Centers, and welcome to my house. Today, we are going to do uh, two different dishes. We're going to do uh, a fricassee of chickens, and uh, because it's a season of the squash, we're going to have a butter squash. So, we're going to start. Uh, we are going to toast our uh, pickets. And what tossing the pickets is because you want to bring back the flavor of the pickets. So, I'm going to try to use as uh, much possible one pan to do everything and uh, it doesn't take too much time to uh, uh, prepare. I have uh, the butter squash, then I uh, dice. I have some hot water because we are going to blanch the butter squash. So the water, I just put a little bit of uh, salt inside and I'm boiling it. So blanching actions is pretty much cooking halfway through what you want to blanch. What I did with the Brussels sprouts, I remove the tips and I cut them in half. I love Brussels sprouts. is a really a great season like every season but for bring a different set of vegetables squash so get my pickets yeah. you see just no oil nothing I'm just going to toast, to toast the pickets and try to get some colors to it and some flavors so during that time you know when my uh, pickets are toasting what I'm gonna do, I'm using phenols. I love phenols, you know, and you know, everybody says, oh, maybe you might find phenols, you know. I went to Giants in the corner store and I find it, you know what I mean? And uh, so to me, when it's a season, we always have uh, phenols. So, as you can see, I don't shop them, you know, pretty much regular size, it's pretty much the same size, you know, like this, they're gonna cook eventually with a better squash when we're gonna uh, 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 bake it on the oven. See, you see, starting to have the smell, the pecans are starting to get a little bit uh, uh, black over there, so I stop. going to use bacon today. So when you get bacon, try to get some bacon where it's not too 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 much fat but meat. Like you can see I didn't put any oil to it. I just want my bacon to become crispy. Paper towel to absorb the extra of the fat. The water is brewing. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put the butter squash. And as soon as the water is gonna boil one more time, I'm gonna remove the butter squash. Make sure to pay attention to my bacon. the smell of bacon. Sometimes I have the onions, then I cut in a half. Half a moon, that we call, half a moon. Make sure you flip the bacon once in a while. It's gonna be ready very soon. And the reason why I do the bacon now is because I'm going to sear chickens on the bacon fat. So, pepper, salt, I'm using natural Himalaya pink salt. The 
sense is being seared on both sides and it is becoming crispy. salt and pepper on both sides. So again, some fresh pepper and some salt. to get a nice brown color from the chicken. Not enough fat to it, I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil. Then I'm gonna shut. So garlic is being shot and I'm gonna use some thyme. Now the chicken is nicely brown, so I'm going to flip it on the other side. but the water for the butter squash is brown again so finish my blanching like I said you pretty much cook the squash halfway through there we go. so like you can see the chicken is nice brown color I'm gonna remove it I'm gonna do because it's a little bit too much fat, so I'm gonna remove a little bit of the fat but keep it for the rest of the vegetables. So, what I do, I'm gonna put my onions and my fennel in the same pan and a bit of squash. The short times and the minced garlic. And I'm gonna put some salt and pepper. And I forgot my bottle of squash. colors white green and orange yeah, I can put some bit. and you yes, it's very easy after that we're gonna put our chickens I am gonna use some uh, chicken stock or chicken stock or chicken broth so now you can say to me why I'm using a chicken thigh. The reason why I'm using chicken thigh is because of all the bones. And uh, I love cooking my meat, uh, especially the chickens with the bones on it, because you help to keep the moisture and bring more flavor to it.
So like this, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but you know, I'm starting to get nice brown colors on the vegetables. And uh, so I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna put my chickens in my pan. Juice and my chicken stock. There we go. Waiting for the chicken stock to boil. Before to put it, I'm gonna wait for the chicken stock to boil. Big ebullitions, and I'm gonna put it inside. Put it at uh, 400, 400 degrees. Okay, so I don't know if you can see on the camera, but you're having something to get the bubbles bubbling, so it's growing, and I'm putting my little bit. Mmm, chicken must be ready now. Then check it out. Like I said, for 20 minutes, 400 degrees. Let me show you that. Look at that. Look at that. One pan. Hmm. So. Spoon, your Brussels sprout, your fennel, your butter squash. You see, timing. I told you, my nose was good. Timing off. Sauce, you have everything. It's everything in one dish. The chicken. And I forgot our pecans. So, roughly sharp what I want. And our pecans. And we, you know, it's so crispy that you can break it in morsels with your finger like that. As a chef, you always have to do something special at the last moment. I chop some parsley because I like the colors. You know, you always eat first with your eyes. There we go. Enjoy.